this is Dr. Kate Eckert, and I am a chiropractor with Forum Function and Flow Lab. We have offices in Oil City and Grove City, Pennsylvania. Today we are going to talk about how we treat sciatica. Common misconception is that sciatica is just a thing on its own that happens. Really, it is just a symptom and lots of different things can irritate the sciatic nerve. So is it coming from your discs? Is it coming from your canal that your spinal cord goes through? Is it coming at the facets on either side where the nerves come off? Is it coming from an irritation at the SI joint or maybe an entrapment of that nerve in the glutes? So lots of different things can cause sciatic pain and it can even, you know, go all the way to your hip flexors. So which feel like they're on the front of your body and not connected to your low back at all, but they actually attach from the front of the low back down onto the legs. So if there's a dysfunction there, it can manifest into low back pain and sciatic pain. So first we have to discover where is your sciatic pain coming from? What is the source? If you have imaging and we know that you have a disc issue, we would probably suggest first trying shockwave therapy to see if you have any spots. And what I mean by spots is that shockwave therapy feels like nothing in healthy tissue. And then when we hit an area of calcification, the sound waves are bumping against it. And that bumping feels like a deep, dull ache. So we would do your low back, you would do your glutes, we would do all the different areas associated, and we'll see if you have any spots to take care of. Then we would do decompression therapy if it's a disc issue. So decompression therapy is just a type of traction. So we have a table that will lie typically face down, but if you have too much pain with that, we can have you lie on your back as well. There's a belt that goes around your hips, the machine, we pick out the weight that's suitable for you and we move it around so that you're very comfortable while lying there. It's not meant to be painful in any way while you're doing it. And then as it's slowly stretching you apart and coming back together and just repeatedly out and in, we are gonna also do our class four laser at the same time. The class four laser that we have can get about seven to eight centimeters deep. So it definitely gets all the way into the discs. It helps increase circulation and decrease inflammation. Sometimes as we're do de doing decompression, you can experience soreness afterwards. The laser really helps mitigate that issue. With decompression, we're not trying to stretch out the musculature of your low back. We are trying to rehydrate the discs. So if you think of my hands as vertebral, vertebral bodies, it's gonna slightly pull, and as it pulls, it's trying to change the fluid pressure in the disc, and that encourages more fluid to come in. So a lot of people say, oh, you can turn it up, this feels like not much of a stretch. We're not wanting to feel a stretch. We want it to just focus on the discs. It's not trying to stretch your musculature. So we would do those three things combined if it was disc related. The other thing that we can do at the end of the year, hopefully, is use, they've had some good research on using a shock wave deep enough that gets into the vertebral body and the disc and helps increase circulation right at that level. Currently, the deepest level that we can go is three centimeters. So unless you're super petite, it does not go deep enough. It does for necks, but not for low backs. So hopefully by the end of the year, there will be a new treatment head coming out that goes all the way up to eight centimeters of penetration. And that's plenty to get all the way into everyone's deep glute mus musculature and into their vertebral body. So super exciting stuff that it can actually, you know, improve those arthritic joints. With with sciatic pain that is coming from an entrapment of the nerve in the glute, then we treat there. Again, if people are not having a quick response time at that month mark, we add in laser therapy and then we would do both because that helps. So often we've seen that it really kickstarts the healing process by decreasing the inflammation and giving even more blood flow. 
laser increases blood flow and shockwave increases blood flow. They just do it in different ways. So it just really helps. And why you want so much blood flow to an area is to increase oxygen to the area. And that's what is super healing. We also have people go on the vibration plate afterwards. We even recommend it for people that can't stand a long time to just sit and put their feet and lean forward onto the vibration plate. We really like to get people's limp system moving. We have an office YouTube channel that has a limp flow series to do every single day. And we recommend that for everyone, not just shockwave patients. We sit a lot, we're dehydrated, we have a lot of stress. We carry these tension and these different choke points of the main lymph nodes. So getting them stimulated and getting them moving really helps decrease your inflammation, which is going to make you feel better overall. So these at-home things are really important for you to take that active role in creating a healthy environment because we can't get healthy in the environment we got ill in. So Keep that in mind as you're getting treated that it, those things at home, it's how much effort do you want to put in to your health that will make it faster. You know, we also suggest that people rest for 24 hours after their treatments. Not everyone can do that or wants to do that. Some people want to continue doing their hobby, your activity, that kind of thing. And I always say, you know, that's on you, it, you know, how fast you want to get better. If you really just really love the activity you're doing and you want to do it and you know that it's going to make it take longer, that's fine. It'll just take maybe twice as long to get better, but that is totally a choice for you and we'll work with you whatever way you want to do it. But we'd like to keep you, have you keep in mind that it can make it a slower process. So try not to get frustrated in the process of it. We also do exercises for people besides the lymph stuff if they want to do that, because that is also helpful as well. And with shockwave therapy, we typically do it once a week. You can do it twice a week. You just have to have at least two days of rest between those times. Laser and decompression, really you need to do it twice a week at minimum for the first month to see the best results. And then you can taper off if needed and just do maintenance treatments if needed. If you have any questions on how we treat sciatic pain and that kind of thing, feel free to reach out to me. We look forward to helping you. Mm -hmm.